Hello there, Tyrant here. I just finished watching the finale of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Um, and it was, <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, uh, it was, it was really well done. Um, it, it, it's a great way to finish this really fun show. Um, um, it was, <sighs> I don't know how to say this. It's um, it had a lot, a lot. It had a lot, and it was beautifully done. I'm, I. There was a lot that was said and can be inferred from this episode, that was led from everything that led up to this, and it was really good. Um, some of the things that were said. From this show can be anyone can take to heart. Uh, I can especially take a lot of these things to heart with the people I'm with um, and the people I used to be with too. So it's for this sh episode and for the show in general has been one of my favorites of the winter season. And uh, but let's just oh so yeah so for this episode <laughs> so Toru's dad. Basically comes back and takes uh, Doru home and he his his design is phenomenal for like the Emperor of Demise. He's his character's on point. He gives that aura of of just sheer power. On top of that, that fa fatherly figure. Um and from that from the point where Toru is taken home to the point where she returns she, there's that gap, probably a couple days, where Kobayashi and Kana are on their own, and you can really see um, the um, there was this like lingering feeling of loss when Kobayashi first heard it, and you could feel it, um, and then her just trying to continue on with their lives while when while to, no, not to, away while she was gone to their knowledge it was really well done it was only a few minutes but you could really feel it um just day by day just them doing their thing um then to the point when toru returns which was really uh really well done as well um and the discussion that toru had with her father that that conversation alone that small thing you would see in a lot of action uh shows that you would see an interference you do see it but it's you from this show it's always been uh you don't really interfere with uh, family issues uh outside your own and but there was th that point where kobayashi basically had to speak up uh, on in Toru's behalf, and that was also well done. Even though she was uh, scared, well, scared shitless, basically, she still argued with this this powerful being. Um, it was also good. What I, it was was great. It it paused me for a second because I was they they Toru and um, her father do fight, and uh, there was that point where they left. For a moment, and you're like, it, are they just gonna leave and just gonna be Kobayashi? And kind of just no, they actually do a fight. So that that scene alone was, I don't know, it's really it, like overall, it's really great done. Like the only, so here's my only real gripe about this episode is yes, in previous episodes, there is that lingering feeling of doubt within Toru about their relationship um but it's not until this episode that it really manifests and it bugged me a little bit um when i thought about it um because yes she's she's been feeling these little things but i was i wish what they did a slightly uh was have toru's inner dragon kind of always not always but at least hinted at something every every other episode or so when something really happened but they 
that's really my only gripe. Um, but they, it was really well done. Um, uh, I've had, it, <laughs> it was a fun last episode and I'm really sad that it's ending. Um, but for this, for this episode alone, it was a really joy to watch. I'm probably going to watch it again in a few seconds after I'm done uploading this video. Um, but, uh, a really, really great way to end this show. Uh, so, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the series. Uh, so there is no next week for this one, but my review will be up for this one. But until, so until next time, thanks for watching.